Sleep with ease as you listen to tonight's cozy, sleepy story, Treehouse in the City. In the West Village of Manhattan is a hidden garden that offers an escape from the fast-paced rhythm of New York. At sunset, you step behind a wrought iron gate to explore the secret garden that surrounds a charming two-story treehouse. Tranquility and nature seamlessly intertwine with the vibrant energy of the city. This enchanting sleep story transports you to a world where amidst towering skyscrapers and historic brownstones, you discover an oasis of calm. At twilight, you settle in a porch swing, gazing at the distant glow of city lights and the iconic Empire State Building, soothed by the distant hum of the city. As the moon rises, you retreat to the tree house's artistic bedroom suite, where you fall into a rejuvenating sleep. It's time to dream away. Welcome to Michelle's Sanctuary. I am Michelle, your guide for the soothing mental escape. Think of me as a trusted longtime friend who is here to support your need for a rest and to help remind you how much you deserve to unwind at the end of each day. We are about to engage in a brief guided meditation to slow down your breath and prepare the canvas of your mind for the story to come. Feel free to adjust or modify or skip any aspect of this practice, as well as any experience in the bedtime story to what makes you feel best. And know that every time you listen will be different and you may have different needs in any moment. That is perfectly okay and natural. As your closed eyes block out the happenings and your connection to the outside world, feel the support of your bed and all the possibilities for adventure in your mind. Everything becomes fluid, unfolding like a dream, guided by your fancy. The essence of a hidden garden and tree house in New York City empowers your imagination. It's easy to find silence and peace when one is surrounded by it, but it is a remarkable feat to find quietude and balance within when the world is frenetic outside. But as you sink into your bed, you welcome the idea of settling in this mystical treehouse, protected by the historic stone walls of low-rise townhouses where the garden thrives. Open your mouth and let out a sigh, the kind of sigh that flows with the ease of the Hudson River as it joins the New York Harbor. Take on this sense of fluidity as you slowly inhale through your nose and imagine the garden scents of honeysuckle, hyacinth, and your favorite floral aromas filling your room. Open your mouth and yawn if you like, and then sigh, feeling your torso sinking into your mattress, feeling heavy as you release today and get closer to the edge of sleep and the playground of your dreaming mind. Engage in this pattern of breathing twice more at your own pace. And as you inhale, perhaps yawn and then sigh, 
you imagine how wonderful it would be to always find equanimity and a sense of safety and tranquility no matter what happens around you. It could be the greatest gift to yourself a secret power, being able to step away when you need time to regroup, self-soothing and regulating your nervous system. As you inhale, yawn, and sigh. When you're done, return your breath to normal and notice the easy shift that came within. And in this state of grace, it's time for the story to begin. Someone once said, somewhere between living and dreaming, there's New York. It's not always easy to imagine the New York that once boasted wooded landscapes, pastoral lands, and farmhouses, but some traces remain in this concrete city of millions. Streets bustling with yellow cabs, city bikes, and sidewalks overflowing with fast-paced locals and meandering tourists were once winding dirt paths. The tapestry of old New York and whispers of the past are celebrated in drawings and paintings hung in the halls of the world's most esteemed museums. But even amid the constant changes in a city that sometimes feels like the heartbeat of the world, there are keys to the bucolic past that a curious mind may discover. Those who seek calm in the storm and those who seek tranquility and nature in the most unlikely places are the ones who will always find it. Today, a different kind of beauty graces the streets below 14th Street than centuries past, where rows of historic brownstones line residential avenues. In cities like New York, beauty is an ever-changing and evolving aesthetic, and to an attentive and curious mind, it can be found in the most unique places. As you wander a residential street of historic townhouses, you focus on the luster of small minerals in the brownstones, reflecting the light of golden hour as the sun dips towards the Hudson River. Even the sidewalks twinkle with pieces of mica that offer magic in the mundane. The city sparkles in a myriad of ways, luminous light and radiance that transforms by the hour. Towering trees sway gently in the breeze, casting cool shadows on the sidewalks. Many have left the city for their last summer holidays before fall arrives with a return to routines. As the sun sets, painting the island in a peachy pink glow, rush hour takes hold of the avenues and main cross streets, but you find yourself sheltered from much of the noise on a tree-lined residential side street. Ceramic and terracotta vessels are arranged on the sprawling stone staircases that lead to centuries-old townhomes, overflowing with colorful flowers. 
In a few months, they will be replaced with gourds, pumpkins, and corn stalks, tended with love and appreciation for this quiet block. One may always infer the season by the outdoor decorations. The air is warm and slightly humid as a northerly breeze carries the slightest hint of the sea from the brackish waters of the New York Harbor. In the center of the block, you encounter a 12-foot-high wrought iron gate with intricate scrolls and twists that resemble licorice sticks. Ivy drapes down the metal bars created by an artisan in the last century. Tall grasses and ferns flourish in marble pots and extend their tresses beyond the garden gate as if beckoning passers-by with a promise of peace. You grab an old brass skeleton key and slip it into the lock. You listen to the pronounced click, a sound that invokes a feeling of unlocking a getaway to an enchanted oasis. You duck beneath a canopy of maple leaves, the trunk of the tree surrounded by a patch of velvety grass and morning glories. A sensor causes the globe lights strung across the garden to come on. They illuminate the shadows formed by trees and the surrounding buildings. This botanical slice of New York has been lovingly tended by generations of nature lovers, a testament to their dedication to preserving tranquility amid the urban flurry. A promise was sealed through time as the garden was passed down with an agreement that this small piece of Manhattan would forever be kept as a natural garden. Early on, the garden was so tranquil amid the sprawling buildings that it was easy to understand why one would wish the garden could become a permanent home. In the mid-20th century, a dream took root within this small patch of city land and blossomed into a treehouse. What began as a rustic single-floor hideout complete with a cozy reading nook and a spot to savor morning coffee, was developed into something more by a young tyke who spent his early childhood mystified by the space. He would tell adults how one day he would live in a treehouse in the heart of the city, and they would scoff. But from those childhood dreams, plans were made to create a year-round residence, a treehouse in the city. It eventually became a two-story haven with a rooftop that provided the perfect vantage point for gazing at the stars, the city lights and the iconic colored lights of the Empire State Building that change nightly. The entryway divides into two paths that wrap around the lush garden. To the west, it leads to a small waterfall that cascades into a pool where the city's birds often come to bathe and sing in the morning hours. Their sweet songs often awaken you to the start of a new day, 
full of promise. You take the other path that leads to a pergola that overflows with honeysuckle. Whenever you walk through it, the lush orange tinted petals and and small leaves brush across the top of your head and leave a trace of the delicate sweet perfume. Tiny ivory lights wrap around the weathered wooden beams and like the neighbors on the street, you adjust the outside decorations to match the season's festivities. Your cat comes to greet you. A sweet, once stray animal you rescued as a skinny kitten when you discovered her hiding from the rain beneath the treehouse, shivering in despair. She rubs against your legs, purring and meowing a familiar greeting. At twilight, she loves to explore the garden's hidden corners and pounce from behind the shadows like a wild cat in the jungle. A mosaic table with wrought iron legs sits in the center of the garden, large enough to host eight guests. A candelabra sits in the center with drips of dried wax that harken back to a time before electricity. You can almost hear the laughter and music from past gatherings here carried on the breeze of a pleasant memory. And often you derive even more joy from sharing this sacred space with others than you get from inhabiting it. In the heart of the garden, you can only see a piece of the sky when the lush flora of summer blocks the view. Come winter, the skeleton trees give way to a view of surrounding historic buildings and city lights. These lights are welcome when days are shorter and nights grow cold. Every month in this treehouse offers a different experience and you aim to appreciate each one. The purple and magenta bands across the sky transform into a pristine navy blue tapestry as a few wispy clouds drift overhead. The city's rhythm becomes a symphony. You can feel the change in the air when you tune into the present moment. Its energy infuses every breath and every heartbeat, affecting you even when you are unaware. Small globe lights drape around the treehouse and its highest branches like constellations, guiding your way up the wooden steps that lead to the first level of the treehouse. You enter the first floor, where a kitchenette and open concept space welcome you home. You turn on a kettle and prepare a cup of tea. Your cat wraps her tail around your ankle, looking up with saucer-like eyes, imploring you to feed her. You prepare her dinner as your favorite sleepy tea steeps in a hand-painted teacup purchased as part of a set from a nearby antique shop. 
the smells of chamomile, mint, and lavender fill the treehouse. As you drip honey from a wooden honey dipper into the steamy liquid, the cup clinks against the saucer as you balance it and step out onto a patio. You follow the spiral outdoor stairs that drip in ivy, passing the second floor and bedroom suite and ascending to the rooftop. An array of floor cushions scatter atop the roof, along with antique side tables and loungers. The sky unfolds above as a few twinkling stars begin to reveal themselves. In the distance, the Empire State Building pierces the sky, illuminated in opulent purple light. The city's soundtrack resonates in the distance a muted choir of distant horns and sirens that mimic the haunting call of a coyote in a canyon. Here amid the embrace of the garden and treehouse, you find a unique harmony where the spirit of New York converges with the refuge of nature. You light candles in colorful Moroccan lanterns scattered about the roof that begin to flicker and cast the roof in dreamy, saturated light. You turn on music, the ideal songs to enhance this romantic evening and then settle in a porch swing and place down your tea on a tiny side table. The cat follows close behind and hops onto a teal throw pillow with gold fringe next to you. You remove your shoes and rock back and forth in the swing as your bare feet land on an outdoor rug beneath you. Your cat purrs herself to sleep and keeps your legs warm as the night becomes cooler. You finish your tea, having savored every silky drop that soothed your throat and increased your relaxation. As the night deepens, you find yourself lost in thought, capturing the day's moments within the pages of your journal. The opportunity to scrawl your pen across the blank pages gives you a chance to pour out all your thoughts and concerns, your hopes and desires in a stream of conscious release. It makes you feel lighter and free as they become written observations. The cat's gentle purring blends with the distant hum of the city and the songs you have chosen, creating a lovely melody that lulls you into a state of peaceful contemplation. The moon climbs higher, casting its ethereal glow upon the garden below. While the Empire State Building stands tall, a 
tower of brilliance amidst the sparkling cityscape. In your treehouse hideaway, suspended between the realms of nature and urbanity, you feel deep appreciation for the dreamer who brought this vision to life. He knew the possibilities that come from dreaming, and now you luxuriate in the legacy of his vision. The sacred space elevates the idea that peace may be found anywhere, and that a city may also be a natural haven. The city's pulse merges with the tranquility of the treehouse as the evening breeze rustles the leaves and causes the candle flames to flicker, casting long shadows that dance on the roof. You continue to rock back and forth as the music ends and you wish you could hang on to this moment forever tucked away beneath the canopy of the swing drawn to every twinkle of natural and electric lights you inhale deeply the night air richer with the intoxicating aromas of the garden below. You peer out over the unique paradise between historic dwellings, feeling safe and cozy. A wave of tiredness rolls in, gentle Yet steady, your eyelids become heavy as you close your journal. Your eyes slowly, letting the wind guide you throughout the rooftop as you ceremoniously blow out the candles and bid goodbye to another enchanting night on the roof. The crescent moon takes center stage in the sky, hovering over the garden and the city, and brings thoughts of songs written about the wonders of moonlit New York. Your cat stirs and then stretches as you gather your journal, teacup, and saucer and ascend the spiral stairs into the kitchen. You clean the antique dishes and peer out the window onto the garden as fireflies flicker their neon bellies. You then brush your teeth and clean your face in the cozy bathroom beyond the living room. The pine walls impart their woodsy aroma and make it impossible to believe you are in a city that never sleeps. You then ascend the spiral stairs within the treehouse to the bedroom suite. An accent wall behind the bed is painted a rich shade of marine blue, velvety like the night sky, and decorated with hand-painted gold stars. A wall of windows looks out onto the water feature and on summer nights, the melodic cascade reaches your room. 
your cat has already settled into the king-sized four-poster bed that offers a plush duvet and a mountain of pillows. The outdoor lights automatically turn off as fireflies dance outside your window. You feel like a creature of the forest, tucked away in a hollow, safe and secure. And yet, the bedroom suite still evokes a flavor of New York with an eclectic blend of colorful art that graces the walls and celebrates local artists, telling stories of different eras of the city in vibrant brush strokes. Bouquets of flowers meticulously arranged with an antique hand-painted vases bring a touch of cottagecore elegance to the room. On the bedstand is a stained glass lamp that replicates the patterns of dragonfly wings and casts the space in soothing aquamarine light. The outdoor breeze enters the windows and circulates the cool air in the room as your feet land on a plush, fuzzy cream carpet that covers the rustic wooden floor. You change out of your clothes and dress in warm flannel pajamas. The forecast calls for a significant drop in temperature in the wee small hours of the morning. A gentle reminder of the impending changes that come with the approaching embrace of autumn. A canopy of leaves outside the windows dampens the city lights this time of year and creates a serene ambiance. The scent of the garden's blossoms lingers in the air, adding a touch of nature's perfume to the night. You peel back the covers and climb atop the marshmallow-like mattress. You turn off the light and allow your head to surrender into the pillows. As you lie still, the world beyond the windows fades into obscurity, replaced by the comforts of the treehouse bedroom. The vibrant art, the antique flower vases, the dragonfly-inspired lamp, and the rustic elegance all converge to create a haven of antiquity and peace. You focus on all the pleasant sensations of this moment and how lucky you are to experience this in a city of millions of souls going about their night. The gentle susurrations of the leaves and blossoms, 
the contrast of the cool breeze against your face as your body is cloaked in warmth. The soft purring body of your cat nestled beside you. The aromatic markers of a summer garden flourishing. The softness of the bed. So welcome after a day of navigating the concrete world of a bustling city. You find yourself reveling in the contrasts of the day as you are now on the side of softness and comfort. Your body stills and your mind wanders as you float around the boundary of sleep. Slipping between worlds. You take this time to appreciate and savor the ability to glide from reality to dreams, from the safety of your room to the adventures of your mind. Your breath slows and your heart rate follows. And feeling safer and more appreciative than you may have felt in some time. You welcome the promise of a restful night. Finding bliss finding tranquility, finding comfort, finding sleep. It's time to dream away.